morning my soccer universe you read the headlines we had two home wins yesterday uh, one was expected one I think was still a little bit of a surprise um, speaking of course of Tottenham I had a choice this morning <laughs> shall I wear Liverpool or Tottenham and I said I'm gonna go for my Tottenham shirt A because I think it's one of the nicest ones I have or nice sore ones for sure but I actually really like this one although I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the team but also um, I don't wear it that often so pull it out while you can um, did I watch what did I watch I honestly didn't watch any game I saw a little bit of the Liverpool Porto and then I decided you know I'm so tired I better take sleep uh, get some rest in so that I'm actually fit for tonight because I'm way more excited about Juve against Ajax Ajax against Juve to be uh, correct but I think I'm, I'm much more excited about that one uh, yesterday's games um, yes they're interesting to me but um, not as much I think that even the Liverpool Porto uh, from European pedigree was a good matchup. The Spurs City, yes, those are two really good teams, but uh, a little bit lacking history in the competition. Uh, lacking a lot of history in that competition, to be honest. So uh, I wasn't even that mad that um, I would have only had the chance to watch Liverpool Porto because you know, I only have the zone and they're splitting the quarterfinals. Uh, yeah. So I didn't watch anything, so I saw the highlights at 1.30 in the morning, because if I know there's that, that I, that's how soccer mad I am. If I know that there are games, especially Champions League games, and I don't know the result uh, while falling asleep, I usually wake up in the middle of the night. I usually wake, wake up two or three, three times. I, I don't sleep through the night. And so I decided, okay, 1.30, let's watch the highlights. And the, I knew already that Liverpool had a 1-0 lead, so let's go to that game um, first. Liverpool-Porto, I mean, Musa Marega was a big pain overall for Liverpool, but Liverpool really dominated the first half. Uh, I saw it already in the first 15 minutes or so where they made the 1-0, which was, uh, you know, I think it was Milner who punted down the ball towards the left. Not really looking, but just knowing that um, Mane is there. Mane puts it in, in the box to uh, across the box towards Keita. He was at, at, at the edge of the box, who so takes a shot that gets a really uh, favorable deflection, goes right into the corner. If he wanted to shoot it that way, um, I'm not sure if he would manage this. I mean, this was one where you could see this deflected, because other, uh, otherwise the shot never takes. Uh, that nice of a bounce in the upper corner. Um, if it was, if it would have been without deflection going up there, it would have been a wonderful goal. Uh, uh, has to be said. So Keita puts them up 1-0. Um, Liverpool had even more chances. I think there was one, uh, especially by Salah, where he is clear. Um, the defenders catch him, and then he rolls it uh, past the net. Can happen. Uh, and then a really nice attacking move. Um, he finds the ball to Alexander Arnold, who crosses it into the I mean, flat ball into the box, and Firmino just has to uh, punch it home. And it's 2 0 Liverpool, which was the result that I actually predicted. And I thought, oh, yeah, 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 is this going now the completely opposite direction? Um, at that point, or well, slightly slide, slide after, I mean, Liverpool was also lucky because Alisson needed to make a save um, on Marega and then there was I think the, either directly or close thereafter um, crossing that he kind of saves uh, but the ball falls onto the hands of um, of a Liverpool defender uh, who was it anyway it's handled right here uh, which you know I'm not a big fan of but there is a bar at that stage and I was actually surprised that they 
uh, didn't hand the pork to a penalty there, so there was some luck. Second half, uh, there would have been a 3-0 by Mane, but it was offside. Liverpool then kind of retreated a little, a little bit and um, you know got the game, just controlled the game without uh, threatening too much and anymore. Uh, after this great first for half, uh, they clearly showed, yeah, we are the better team, and now we gonna. Um, let it slide. Then uh, there was one controversial scene uh, at the towards the end where um, first there was a penalty appeal by Porto. Uh, I actually haven't seen the replay to it. I since no one really I, mean, I read a little bit today, but no one really made too much of fuss about it. So I assume it was not uh, that bad. Uh, but yeah. Uh, then the ball goes on the other side, falls to Salah, Salah wants to get it and hits with his foot the shin of the Porto defender, which to be honest, that can very well be a red card foul. Uh, I'm not sure if he got even a yellow for it, for, for it and I'm not, and again, I'm not, I'm not sure if they looked at it, but I think they were lucky there. I know there was maybe no bad intent, but you cannot go into a challenge like that. Um, I think he could not really com com complain if this would have been a red card. So Liverpool goes on to nil, and my, the result that I predict, I think I predicted to, to, to nil stands. So I always say, sure, 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 to go wrong. But again, this one, pat on my back, not making much of it. Um, I was way off for um, Spurs against City. Um, first of all, finally, we have a Champions League match in the new stadium. Um, from what I hear, they made even announcements. Uh, yeah, Champions League football uh, near White Hart Lane, or blah blah blah. Yeah, finally they got it, and it might might be the last one, but who knows? Um, I think in the first half, from all that I could tell from the highlights, Tottenham was the a uh, team that was more ready for, for, for the game. It was more dangerous, controlled a little bit more of the game, you know, a lot of pressing, um, but being quite wide. Uh, however, there was only one real chance by Kane. Uh, the biggest chance actually came from another handball call uh, for City. Uh, that, you know, Danny Rose is trying to uh, clear the ball uh, from a shot and it falls on his hand. This is one of those that I find absolutely uh, tough, 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 tough call. Um, I don't like it. Honestly, I really do not like calls like this uh, for handball. But then again, uh, it, it, it is consistently given, except that the game is played uh, in Turin. Still hurting over that one, honestly. So yeah, uh, it is penalty. Uh, Aguero steps up and Yuris saves it. And for all that we have damning Yuris, he's been saving three penalties this year already. So I guess he's a good goalkeeper, but he has some he has, has some obvious flaws as well. Uh, it also, I mean. I think on the ESPN FC they were discussing the last week who would you take Luis Suarez, Kun uh, Aguero, and to me this is not even a discussion. I never. I give it uh, uh, Aguero if he's, he is in form, he, he is a great striker, but he never. He needs to prove it to me on a bigger stage. For Argentina, he usually shows nothing. Yes, he made the goal that gave City the championship in 2012. Yes, this was a biggie. Honestly, that was against a lower level team, Crystal Palace, I think it was. Uh, so, you know, and they were already saved at that point. So it was a little bit easier to make that goal. And I would say, yes, he made a lot of goals against Chelsea when they were absolute shambles. Uh, yes, he also made a goal against Liverpool. I just miss it on the Champions League stage. I, I find him a flaky, a really flaky striker. For all the acclaim that he gets, uh, he doesn't compare well to Suarez. Suarez has done it on every level and is, is, uh, his work rate is higher. I find Suarez a much, much better uh, player. 
you, I might even go so far that you can call me an Aguero hater, although I really would wish that he would once show what he's capable of, because I think he's a wonderful talent. Uh, but he's one of those that are really disappointing me on many, many, many levels. Uh, I think he can do even more. That's what I, where I come, come from. So yeah, he shoots the penalty, and it's not even a great penalty. Uh, it's you know, it's really convenient for a goal goalkeeper. If, if, if the goalkeeper has, uh, has the corner, uh, he, he, he will save it five out of six times. Uh, probably even more because there was not even that much uh, punch behind that shot. So yeah, that was the big scene in the first half. And uh, no, the second biggest, because the biggest was Guardiola not watching and then his uh, assistant Arteta kind of nudging him this way. And then Guardiola going, we <laughs> missed it. Can I also say that I would have hoped that City plays in their navy jerseys that I love so much. I mean, the purple orange is not that bad, but I think the navy jerseys are better. Uh, just saying, just saying. Uh, Tottenham, of course, in all white, and it look, does not look good. It really does not look good. I, I don't know why they play in Europe in all white. Then uh, give a plain white jersey. Don't. It just doesn't look good with the fade and going into white again. It really looks like you know this emergency ring that you have on ships that are around. It doesn't look good. Absolutely doesn't, uh, doesn't look good. So yeah, um, then in the second half, City actually gets more of the game and is dom is dominating. There was a pretty good chance by Raheem Sterling that that was safe, but uh, I think the big story was. Uh, Weird tackle. No, not the tackle. I mean, Kane wants to save it and gets stepped on the foot and has to leave the game. And from what I hear, he's out for the season. So, I mean, that's a big blow for uh, uh, to Spurs for sure. Because uh, while he, he had one chance in the first, first half, it was more there for work rate. Um, that's, that's a big loss because he really can make a break Spurs. I mean they have other players that uh, with a good work rate can make it but Kane I always thought is the central figure in uh, Tottenham's lineup so uh, at that point you kind of expected Tottenham to fold but no they didn't and it was an individual effort by Son who kept the ball in bounds uh, from the touchline kind of catching most city defenders off guard because they really thought that uh, it was going out we were not defending that uh, well any, any, anymore and he gets it out turns around shoots it onto the net and it's one little spurs and they hang on to that result and get a win i said it will be three two for city that was maybe a little too optimistic um, although i thought both teams are kind of offensively uh, gifted Spurs with a 1-0 win, that's going to be an in, in, interesting result uh, going to Manchester City. Um, definitely look, that makes it appealing, let's put it that way. That definitely makes it appealing and we'll see where this will go. Um, I would still say advantage City, especially with Harry Kane out, um, but then we got to wait, wait and see. Um, one last on Harry, Harry Kane, if he's really out for season, I mean, he had this injury, he came back playing, I mean, these injuries, they can even make or break his uh, uh, career. It is just the way it is. I really hope not, because Harry Kane uh, is one of the best strikers around at the moment. There we can have a discussion. Suarez or Kane? Uh, that I think is a whole different discussion. I might even, even lean Kane at the moment. But Aguero, no, not in there. But my personal opinion, let me know what you think. So yeah, tonight we have two bigger matchups, at least from the names. Uh, United uh, hosts Barcelona. That is a really sweet matchup and uh, at least he's here historically. I think Barcelona is clear favorites there. And then Ajax against Juve, which is also a really sweet matchup. That is that I'm also looking quite forward to. Um, and that's the one that I'm gonna watch. Uh, everyone is of course.
course, one wondering, will he play? Uh, let's see. I honestly think they can't even afford not playing Ronaldo because Kane is... Uh, is like Moise, Moise Kane is in such a good form. But Harry Kane, Moise Kane. Although it should be Kane. <laughs> I think it's just Italian pronunciation. Uh, really looking forward to that game. Uh, not only because Ajax is such fun to watch, but Juventus really wants to put the stamp on the competition. Uh, and finally winning it for a third time. Just gonna wait and wait and see. Um, you have a predictions from yesterday. If not, if you haven't seen it, the link is up there. Okay, um, let me know what you thought about yesterday's games and where things are headed. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, my take on the games. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.